Hey Sagittarius, I hope you're doing well. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and get into your reading for the first portion of March 2019. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, if you see floaties or little orbs, they're not orbs, they're dust. I, <clears throat> I have the light on, um, a spotlight. There's been a couple of videos in the past where people are like, oh no, there's an orb. It's, it's not, it's probably cat hair, but <clears throat> just wanted to give that a, a clearing just because I know a lot of people were saying that or thinking that, and I don't think that's what it is. If it's an orb, I don't know. So be it. Show me energies present for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regard to love and relationships. Sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in regard to love relationships for the sign for the month of March 2019. Okay. Show me Sagittarius, please. Show me energies present for Sag. <clears throat> so here you are, right out of the gate, Sag. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, <clears throat> forward movement, um, feeling courageous, being a leader in your own life, deciding what you want to go towards and moving quite competently towards, um, feeling passioned, um, passionate towards something, um, yeah, feeling positive. You may just be dealing with a fire sign or somebody who is very powerful in your life, somebody who is, um, well, the king of wands can also be very handsome. It sounds fucking cheesy, right? You have the moon. So Pisces energy, also cancer energy. Um, what's hidden, what's not communicated, um, having difficulty in choosing a direction and path because we don't know what is for us, what is working, what is not working. We're uncertain about the direction that we're going in. Um, sometimes in the dark, it's difficult to see, you know. Things haven't been illuminated. Show me more. You have the Queen of Swords here. <clears throat> Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So you have a king and a queen, and you have the moon between them. So if anything here, um, we have... It's almost as if the queen is wanting truth from this person. The queen is wanting the communication to be solid. Um, if you're dealing with a, a, if you're dealing with a air sign, it may be that you need to fess up to something, or they may be communicating something to you so that energy can transform here with the two of you. Um, it may be dealing with family. It may be dealing with um, lineage. Um, as far as like. A relationship goes in between you and this person okay I'm gonna leave those cards there let's get some more out for you show me beneath the king of wands what's up what's for the king of wands okay so you have Aries energy you have the Emperor here okay you have temperance underneath there so that is your energy Sagittarius temperance card sorry there's so much glare I can't help it. The emperor is somebody who is very, um, they're powerful. They are in positions of power within their job, their work. Um, they are somebody who takes care of the family. They are somebody who sometimes is so focused on how to essentially create um, and stabilize their life that they can be neglectful in certain ways to their family and to their loved ones it's not necessarily their intention but um things can get left out you know people can get left out because they're so focused they're single minded they're single focused on what will be the best what's going to make everything work and all of the wheels go in the same direction at the same time and you know it's basically like somebody who is hell-bent on doing really really well and taking care of the family and stabilizing or taking care of themselves and stabilizing a situation. Um, he may just be dealing with an Aries. Show me the energy of the moon. So judgment, Scorpio energy. Show me the queen of swords. 
So we have the Ten of Swords for the Queen of Swords. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So this is basically needing to have clarification, needing truth. Um, you know, this is kind of what I'm feeling, a make, or, make it or break it type of situation. Um, I'm going to clarify the rest of these cards here, but it's almost as if like either party is is the truth everything pivots upon the truth here in this situation we have the ten of swords which talks about deception it talks about painful situations it also talks about endings to those situations you know um how how does that play out like has there been a rift between you has there been kind of like a silence between you and now you're it feels like what's happening here is like the female is more so um um, needing to, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it come through. Hang on. Needing to clarify, needing to clarify with precision. That's what I'm feeling. Needing to clarify, you know, and be careful of like over, over analyzing things over, um, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. What does that mean? Listen, don't pick somebody apart. Listen to them. Don't like tear them apart. Don't dissect every single thing. Like if you do keep it in your mind, keep it inside. That's what I'm feeling. Keep it inside. Keep that kind of quiet. Keep that hidden, but let it be knowledge. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. Show me the King of Wands for Sagittarius. So the King of Wands, you have the Empress here, Sag, Taurus energy. Um, I'm going to pull some more cards before I get into that. Show me the Moon. King of Wands for the Moon. Okay. This person, it feels like they may have been dealing with somebody else. Um, they also may want a new beginning. You know what, too? I'm sorry. Some of you, this person may be dealing with somebody else. Some of you, this is a long-standing relationship partner, and they're wanting to clean things up so that you can move forward. It feels as simple as that. Show me the Queen of Swords. Here you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. I'm sorry, the Nine of Cups in reverse um, with the Three of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, there's a situation here where I think it's like fighting has happened, frustration has happened between you and a loved one, you and a partner, you and somebody that it feels like you're either a husband and wife duo. Um, that's what it feels like. And it feels like the female aspect of this relationship, the female counterpart of this relationship is emotionally distraught, but also um, <clears throat> like untrusting in regard to how this can be rebuilt. Untrusting, un uncertain about how this moves forward. Um, it seems as if like the masculine energy here needs to really, really come clean, really solidify things, really be on his, I don't want to say best foot forward, because that almost um, feels as if it's like a show. But his decision making in this in this situation needs to be something that is going to um, solidify long standing um, security within the relationship, whatever's happened here. Has, has caused the female of the situation to be very um, upset, very mistrusting, um, almost as if she's lost a part of herself, it feels. And like, how can he rebuild that? Show me the emperor. So for the emperor, you have the eight of wands. So the eight of wands is communication. Um, here, this emperor here, like I said, the emperor is somebody who basically puts in his energy and effort to really make things stand out, to really make it happen, to solidify foundations. He rules an empire. He takes his time to make sure everything that he gets involved in is something positive, some, well, not positive all the time, but something worthwhile. Um, you know, 
he rules an empire. Sometimes this personality does not factor in emotion. Sometimes they don't factor in how people feel about situations, how people experience love and relationships. They're very, um, it's like being with a goat. Okay. Like, I don't mean like bestiality. What I mean is like goats are hard headed goats, just do what they want and they go after what they want. You know, um, they're very sure footed. If you, if you think about goats, I don't know what they're called, but there are goats that can stand on like cliffs and like, it's like there's that much room and like they totally stand off cliffs on the sides of cliffs and there's like thousands of feet beneath them and they don't fall. They just jump from each thing. They're very sure footed. They're very sure of themselves. They know how to maneuver their surroundings. The eight of wands talks about communication. It talks about forward movement, communication, emails, texts, messages. Um, it talks about somebody getting in touch with you. It talks about, it feels like the masculine energy here has to go for the female energy and clear things up. Um, very much illuminate what has transpired here. It feels like the male energy here has kind of brought some bullshit to the situation. If it's with lies or with deceit, if it's with a third party situation and there was another fire sign that was being met, that needs to come through because it seems like there's a big rift here between two people. Show me judgment. So as far as judgment goes... Um, you have Scorpio here, which just flew out. Okay, that's a death card. And then you also have the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune communicates um, taking time, you know, also evaluating what's happened as far as your relationship goes, recognizing all of the things that you've been involved with with this person. You know, going back into a situation with somebody, if they want to... Um, reconcile with you if they want to bury the hatchet sounds almost juvenile it, it feels more than that um, if they want to go again if they want to start over with you again there's a necessity here for um, for really really harmful bullshit that basically causes rifts and issues in your relationship to die, but also to stay dead. You can't rehash things. You can't bring them up over and over again. If you choose to actively like move forward with somebody from a tumultuous situation, you have to trust that those things are going to be changed and you have to be willing to do the work to change them. It's not just one-sided, you know, if somebody fucked you over, sure, they need to come clean, come correct, and they need to make sure that everything's, they're doing everything possible to heal a situation. But Sagittarius, if you, we all have to see our side, there's always two sides to a coin. There's always two, two situations to a story, you know, there's always two opinions. Um, and it's really about maneuvering how you go about those. You know, if, if you are communicating or somebody's communicating with you about reconciliation, you know, there's a certain level here where certain things have to go. They have to be under the water. It's, it's not let bygones be bygones, but like there's a forgive and a, a, not forgive and forget, forgive and remember, forgive and remember, but don't harp on it. That's a hard one for people because they want to harp on it. At the bottom of the deck for that though, you have the queen of wands here. So now you have a counterpart here. Okay. So you've got the king of wands popping up twice with the queen of wands. You have a counterpart here. It's an equal. Um, I feel that this person is going to do what they can to stabilize this relationship. Um, you know, the female aspect here, the female counterpart here may be a little bit frustrated in regard to that, maybe not knowing what to trust. But sometimes we need to trust. Sometimes we need to, um, oh, it's not even give the benefit of the doubt. It's to look at somebody's um, growth, to allow growth. You know, a lot of the readings that I do, I'm like, cut it you know I, I'm in this reading it feels like somebody is wanting to fix something and they're serious about it and um yeah that's what it feels like show me the ten of swords for Sagittarius so now 
chads, you have the King of Cups here, and you have the Lovers. So this person, first of all, this person may be feeling um, incredible, incredible love for you, and they want to fix this situation. They realize they fucked up. They could also have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have Scorpio here twice. You have Scorpio, the death card, and then you have um, the King of Cups, which is a Scorpio king. Um heavily presented also under judgment it's also scorpio energy okay so you have heavy water energy here as far as scorpio goes um you know but scorpio within itself the sign is um heavily connected to death and transformation that's the whole point of the death card you know death and the fool very much complement each other just because when we release a situation when we, when we allow something to shed and decease and like die you essentially give birth to a new beginning, you know, that can be on your own or that can be, you know, starting up again with somebody else. But again, there's a heavy, um, it's like a ticking, tick, tick, tick on my head where um, I have to say that um, you need to be careful of bringing um, past hurts into the new beginning because that's just going to build a foundation of toxicity. You won't be able to let that go. And that essentially perpetuates cycles here in reverse this card talks about letting go of cycles um it talks about allowing things to move forward at this point it may be a situation that's a little bit more touch and go where somebody needs to just slowly trust somebody build trust back with somebody that's what it feels like to me sagittarius at the bottom of the deck you have the lovers here so that's decisions between two people. Um, it could be this female energy. It could be you or somebody else. But it's one of the partners deciding to either stay in the relationship or let it go. It's a choice between somebody, two people. It's a head or heart decision. Um, something that they love dearly and something that they need to let go of, you know. Um, if this is the energy that this female counterpart has been exhibiting, this Nine of Cups in Reverse... It's like emotional wounding. That's what it feels like to me after betrayal. You know, somebody may have had somebody else. It feels like that. Um, you know, and it's like you were their partner or their number one that you should have been, but they weren't treated as such. Yeah, you know, this person, I feel here too with this King of Cups. This King of Cups feels like regret. Um, and I feel also that they're concerned that you may not um, allow them back in, Sagittarius, um, after what they've done. You know, it's like they come with their cup, but it's almost as if, like, they have to release it. Some of you, you will go back. Some of you, you won't. That's always the nature of everything. There's no 100% for anybody. But I feel that this person is afraid to... Um, they're afraid of the potential of rejection. And that's something that is actually, you know, on the table for people. You know, when you experience bullshit and you go through crap with people and they hurt you, you know, a reality and an outcome for that type of experience is being left out in the cold, being shut down, not being given a second chance, you know. And I feel that this person um, is more so recognizing that on an emotional level. Um, and they also recognize in certain ways how they have affected you emotionally. Or you have affected somebody emotionally. It seems to be sinking in right now. Show me the, um, show me the Ace of Wands. Okay. So with the Ace of Wands, yeah. Okay, Sag. <laughs> okay, Sag. <laughs> okay, Sag. All right, here. For the Ace of Wands here, I'm sorry, Ace of Swords, the truth coming out, what needs to be communicated and clarified. Um, we have the Queen of Cups with the Ace of Cups here. So this person here wants to be emotional with you. They want you as their partner. This is a love. It's, this person is regretful, it feels. It feels like you're both regretful for different reasons. Um it's like you haven't been seeing eye to eye and you need to see eye to eye if anything is to transpire. Um, the dove there is also feeling like a peace offering, something of um, reconciliation here. Okay. Um, under the ace of um, wands, it's wands. 
this is a new beginning but truth needs to be spoken here that's what i'm feeling it's a new beginning it's a it, something needs to move it's something's moving you have the queen of cups here underneath that the communication is key here where is that ace the communication here, yes, the Ace of Wands is about forward movement. It's about um, starting new beginnings, but it's also about communication. It's about bringing um, genuine communication back to a situation where you can trust each other again. And it feels like the male has to bring that energy. Um, and that is part of the judgment here. So underneath the Ace of Wands, you have the Queen of Cups. This is moving forward with somebody that it's the female aspect moving forward with this person or the male aspect wanting to. That's what it feels like to me. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's what's between you guys. But there's a fair level of healing that needs to happen here. Things that have happened in the past need to die. You have the death card here twice now. So heavy, heavy Scorpio energy, Sagittarius, if you're dealing with one, uh, you may be dealing with one or you may just be dealing with somebody that has finally gotten the courage to make this happen um, and they're trusting that you listen openly and, you know, are open to communication. <clears throat> Things don't happen overnight. Healing doesn't happen overnight. But what seems to be on the table right now is something pretty big. You have the Hierophant here with the um, King of Cups and the Queen of Cups with the Ace of Cups. So that talks about reestablishing commitment. It talks about um, carrying on commitment. It talks about healing things between two people. Um, yeah. All right. So show me death. Yeah. So we have the two of swords here for death. Um, being of two minds in regard to how to either let it go or how to let the situation go and move forward. You know, I feel that that's the female energy's um, decision here to either continue on and let things dissolve and go into the past. And we recognize them for what they are and we accept the issues and the problems and we work on them actively with our partner. We don't cause blame or, well, you can blame somebody, but I mean... It's, it's not holding on to it. It's not harping with it. It's not living with that energy every single day of your life, not being able to trust somebody. This reading very much to me feels like you need to be able to trust this person again. That's what I'm feeling. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. So 23 minutes in. Show me the, show me the queen of cups. So for the Queen of Cups here, you have the King of Cups popping out again, okay? So again, here, Sagittarius, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Ace of Cups. This person loves you. They want to fix this. Um, and at this point, they're pretty much out in the cold. They're frustrated. They're hurting. And they're very worried that they're not going to be able to fix this with you. And they may not be able to, you know, if you've dealt with somebody who's treated you like trash, who you loved very much, and this is too much of a hurdle to get over, you may choose to not do this. Um, if you are with somebody who you love, it feels like there's a fair amount of love here, but somebody was, somebody went astray. Um, it feels like the solution to that is to recognize and forgive this person um, if that is what is to be done in your situation. I can't tell you if it is or isn't. You know your situation. I don't know your situation. I'm just reading these cards and I'm getting some very heavy energies in regard to looking at things and remembering but forgiving you know yeah so all right Sagittarius um 
I hope that this reading was helpful. I'm going to pull one card from here. And another deck. Okay. God damn, my hair. Show me for Sag. Show me for Sag. Totally, totally, totally. Okay, so here, Sag, you have the Two of Cups with the Six of Swords. So this is two people recognizing their bond, recognizing the love between them, um, and moving away from past issues, moving away from hurt, frustration. Sorry about the glare, you guys. Um, yeah, moving away from things that are essentially tumultuous and destructive, um, Having a second chance here, recognizing the love between you and moving that forward. I want to get one card from another deck entirely. Okay. This deck was given to me for my birthday and I love it. I'm still learning it. It's beautiful. I love it. I hope you like it. It's called the Nocturna. Show me energies for Sagittarius. What is the energy present for Sagittarius, please? Sagittarius, show me Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please. So cactus, cactus came out in reverse. We'll try and figure out what that means. I'm going to read it because I don't know it by heart. Cactus, cactus, cactus. Okay, so cactus. Good lordy, the glare. Sorry, you guys. It is what it is. Cactus, armor, being closed off, endurance. The prickly spines of the cactus make it seem uninviting and inaccessible. Despite this, there is beauty in its ability to endure. While the spikes are unappealing, it provides protection for the plant which can survive in the harshest of environments with little water or nutrients. When the time is right, they bloom the, mag they bloom the most magnificent flowers. So, okay, that feels like the female energy here. Um, <laughs> we have an energy, prickly spiny, not trusting somebody, um, being separation right now. It feels like you're, you're having a hard time trusting a situation, being armored, being closed off, but the energy to endure a situation, everything that I've been talking about as far as like remembering but forgiving, there's a huge level of forgiveness in this energy, in this reading. Um, I feel that somebody here is genuinely sorry and they want to make amends. So um, I will let that go here. And uh, if this reading was helpful for you, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you choose to donate, there's a link in the description box below. My name is Isil, and here is the Altruistic Mystic. And yeah, I will see you in a couple of weeks for the second portion of March. All right, Sagittarius, I hope everything's well. Take care. Bye-bye.